Cyclone Freddy bothering the coast of Madagascar again. Just can't get rid of Cyclone Freddy again on another appearance off the coast of Western Madagascar. Currently, with winds of 60 miles per hour, an estimated pressure of 992 millibars, 23.1 south, 42.5 degrees east. The storm was revived again yesterday and has intensified some today and is headed towards a hurricane equivalent status. Not there yet, though, 95 km per hour sustained winds moving near east at 5 miles per hour, 8 kilometers per hour. That's as of 7 p.m. Madagascar time, Eastern African time this evening, it's March the 5th. Storm's current position puts it just off the coast of southwestern Madagascar there, uh, as you can see quite clearly on that map, uh, with the wind extending just about reaching the coast there right now. It's a fairly small wind field at the moment. It is only 92 kilometers from Sifota, 112 from Ifati, 123 from Toliara, 175 from Morombe, and 362 from Morondava. Just to give a reference to Mozambique, it's approximately 815 kilometers from Kelimane right now, and that is the general direction that this storm is expected to travel once it starts turning and stops stalling in the next 24 to 36 hours. Well, let's take a look at the primary hazards, and it's for flooding. Significant rain expected to fall over large parts of Mozambique and Madagascar, which has already been inundated by the storm initial passage last week. While splash flooding is likely near the direct path of the storm, widespread prolonged flooding is expected to be a major concern in the wider regions. This storm's effects will be far-reaching, but of course near the centre where it makes landfall, that will also be a big issue. Here's the expected forecast over the next five to seven days, and it's quite an uncertain one at the moment. Uh, models take it all over the place, really, with respect to the speed and timing of the storm's impact once it gets to Mozambique. Indeed, there's one or two model ensembles that don't have it making landfall, that have it staying just off the coast and stalling once again over the Mozambique Channel, but quite a few model ensembles take it inland and level near Kimane towards the end of the week, some of them say even earlier. But the general consensus is that it will only get there at the very end of the week, coming into next weekend. 60 mile an hour winds right now, that's the latest from Meteo France, and we've gone with that. JWC a little bit lower at 50 miles per hour, AMSU going with that too. And the satellite estimates are way off right now, very low indeed, only suggesting 40 to 45 miles per hour per the NOAA ADT. This is Matteo France's forecast cone, and they're expecting actually a little cyclone to continue northwestwards and slowing down towards the end of that forecast period. That is what we're all expecting there. A gradual turn towards the west in the day period on their cone, which is interesting to see, but it's quite close to its closest pass to Madagascar right now. Here's the GFS forecast model for Freddy, showing the storm's general track towards the northwest. So there it is, churning around the southwestern coast of Madagascar initially and strengthening as it moves over the Mozambique Channel, becoming quite a powerful cyclone, making landfall on the parent GFS model there on the 10th of March, that's Friday I think, and into the weekend moving inland. Now the GFS parent model a little bit quicker than the ensembles, so this might be slowed down on future model runs, uh, but there it is, quite a clear track northwestwards probably getting to high-end Category 2 there before making its landfall around the march as mentioned there and then moving well inland it looks like that will actually be it if that happened but we've got to mention keep mentioning the uncertainty this is the sort of a radar reflectivity simulation and you can see that a lot of rainfall expected around the center of the storm as you would expect as well uh, certainly a significant impact that would be uh, if it does go as forecasted. Even along the southwestern coast of Madagascar as well, quite a bit of rainfall there along the very extreme coastal areas and just its influence causing a lot of rainfall, enhanced rainfall over the whole country. And then on towards Mozambique, moving inland there and what's left of its remnants continue westwards. This is the expected uh, rainfall on the earth, showing Madagascar, the very southwestern tip there, 
getting quite a bit of rainfall but most of the heavier stuff staying offshore. For Mozambique they get a bit more of a, a direct landfall obviously not far from Kelimane and we're looking at significant amounts of rainfall there well above 10 inches I should imagine that's 250 millimeters almost as much in Madagascar and you can see there 15 inches actually near Kelimane that's nearly 400 millimeters and inland quite a lot of rainfall there as well uh, amounts locally getting up to around 200 millimeters at least for many areas and even in parts of inland Madagascar areas that have already seen a lot of rainfall and flooding will become a chronic issue for wide areas I would imagine on this plenty of energy as well with the sea surface temperatures look at that 27 degrees Celsius maybe pushing 28 where the storm is right now although interestingly they will fall a little bit as the as the storm approaches Mozambique falling to around 26 and a half uh, but still looking quite decent indeed so that's the sea surface temperatures ahead of the storm Here's some imagery and you can see how it's looking in the progression of the last probably 12 hours or so on our brand new uh, floaters on the Force 13 website. You can find that by going to force13.com forward slash satellite and this is really fantastic imagery that we're now able to present to you in real time on our actual website. We want to get something like this up for ages and there's the other uh, view there showing the storm's progression. Uh, it's looking a little bit shabby, it's got to be said, on satellite imagery right now, but it is quite broad, it's getting its act together overall, and you can just see there's a lot of influence around it, although it is, looks like it's being sheared away a little bit, or at least pushed away towards the east once we look at this wide shot. But still, decent amounts of convection, I'm pretty sure it will blow up again pretty shortly, and this storm will be on its way towards hurricane equivalent status as it stalls and then starts on its way towards Mozambique later in the week.